Hey Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. Um, so I want to do a little bit more changing videos of my babies and I know I know I don't do those as much, but this is Gigi. This is my Gianna. Um, she is the Gianna Sculpt by Kathy Biscotti Romero of Biscotti from Silicon Studio. Um, I haven't finished rooting her, but she has very, <laughs> she, she has some edges guys. Like all my babies kind of have edges. This baby is supposed to be available, but she is the one baby that I am in no rush to let go. Once she gets rooted, fully rooted, um, unless, you know, like I said, I keep, I think I keep dragging it out on purpose. So, <laughs> so eventually I could be like, um, yeah, I can just keep her. So, Gigi, um, I'm going to put her in some comfortable clothes. Oh, I know what I was going to say. This blanket and this hat, and it's another hat that goes with it. It's a bonnet, actually, that's in the same um, print. Was made by um, one of my customers slash dolly friends in the community and um at the time i think i was working on a custom for her and once she and i think after she got her baby i, can't, I think it was after she got her baby i i got this blanket and hat i can't remember if it was before or after but as a thank you and it was so sweet um i know we hear a lot of stuff about you know, doing customs and how annoying it can be. And um, me personally, I, I always feel like it's a lot of pressure, you know, stuff. And I talk about that. But the one thing that I think we don't talk about enough is the good customers. The ones that be patient and kind. And not that they have to send you like extra gifts. But I've had so many... Um, customers that they either send me gifts while I've been working on my babies or they send me gifts after you know they get their babies I guess I'm gonna be like mm -mm, I'm gonna wait and see this baby first before I send her a gift <laughs> and I'm okay with that <laughs> but um I just love it I love it I love that part I love that some of us build such a great um connection during the process until like we end up chatting like even after they get their babies like it become like a a real you know forever friendship if that makes sense oh i love i love love her little legs bent like that isn't that cute she is so cute with her legs like that um Gosh, she would pose like so cute with armatures in her legs. Uh, anyway, I love her. I, I'm telling y'all when I when I tell y'all that I love this this baby. I don't know why, and I've been trying to figure out like what what's so special about this baby. I love her and the the lavenders too. So she has armatures in her arms, just not in her legs. And I kind of like it that way too because it allow her to still be floppy. Um, she is one of my probably like uh, I I like to call it peaches and cream, even though she has a lot of vein in and stuff like that. Um, she does have a lot of detail, but she's like softly painted. She's not like where. You know, it's just like over the top. So we're going to take her hat off, guys. You guys already know these babies be bald. Look at that. <laughs> That's how their hairline be looking. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. I'm going to take some time one day soon and just really just work on rooting my babies and stuff. 
even though she is not supposed to be my baby per se. She's supposed to be a baby that was supposed to be born for sale. I still, I still want her rooted. I think I'm, I think I'm afraid too that once she get rooted, it's really going to be like hard to say goodbye to her. But you know what? If I sell enough other babies before she, before her time comes up to be rooted, um, I'll just keep Gigi. I'll just keep Gigi. There we go. So I've been doing videos in my next level chatterbox. I have, um, I'm giving people time to, you know, more and more people to switch over to that or uh, fill up in there. I don't want to like flood all my content in there all at once. So I'm, I'm trying to allow time before, of course, like I said, the more people in there, the more I will share, um, but I've already shared like a painting video, painting chat basically. But I'm gonna um, well I've shared two. I'm gonna share some some more stuff. I have some some vlogs and stuff like that that I want to share in there. I just like I said I haven't. Um, I don't want to like post it all at once and I'm trying to decide you know how frequently I want to post in there I love this baby so it's new but you know I'm excited it's like a new toy for me like I'm, I'm excited about all the things that I can share on that level um, I didn't want to go too high up because I still want to keep it a reasonable price for the membership. So I just went to the $4.99 level. And a lot of people have already switched over, which is nice. Um, I'm going to be very consistent though. I will tell you this on that one where... Um, the content will not stay up. Um, it will stay up for 30 days and then it will be removed. So um, you won't be able to come in next month and see what was up for this month. It'll be on a month to month content. Um, I know some people, what they do with the other one, I noticed is that they come in and they sign up. Um, say they sign up for this month, they go back and watch all the stuff and then they leave and then they come back. So, um, I'm not going to do that. That's not fair to the people that pay every month. And then for other people to just be able to come in and, and then just get all the content that they have to pay for. Um, so I am going to, I am going to be very proactive on, on that, um, with this level, especially since I'm actually giving a lot, I'm gonna be. I plan to give a lot more into this this level. So, yep. So, um, there's that. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to, you know, fine tune it and tweak it. So that it works for everyone. It is works for me. It works for everybody else. I love her in this. This is so cute. Okay, let me see what you guys can see. I'm definitely gonna um keep her in this for a little while. I tend to keep her in stuff once I, I like it and 
it's cuddly and stuff like that. I love it. So, um, let's see. Here we go. Like, you see, I can shadow, but. There we go. There she go. All right, guys. I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed watching Little Miss Gigi get dressed. You know what? I have I ever put her in the little froggy position? I don't know. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she goes in it pretty good. And you gotta <laughs> turn a little. The pillow is up. There we go. So yeah. Oh, okay. I just wanted to see. I was like, did I have I ever put her in the froggy position? You know, that's my favorite little pose for the babies. I think it just looks so baby. Cause babies sleep like that all the time. I love to walk in the room and see the baby sleep like that because I'm like, oh, look at the baby. Yeah, that's kind of like the whole point of these dolls is, you know, having them pose and look realistic. Alright, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.